kilometers inside southern Kosovo. KLA forces gather in the rain, preparing to move out to counter the Serb military buildup along the frontier. These pictures filmed by a KLA volunteer were said to have been shot over the last four days near the Rochi Dugajin area. The unit commander traveling in a captured Serb four-ton truck is rendezvousing with his troops. Traveling in a vehicle inside Kosovo by day suggests the KLA were in control of this southern strip of the country. Morale's pretty good, he says. The moment I say something, they do it. These were young volunteers, some in their teens, part of a force of 350 KLA massing for this attack. Are you afraid, he was asked. No, he says, I wouldn't be here if I was afraid. Using a radio scanner, they listen to Serb radio traffic as they prepare for the attack. At dusk, the force splits into two units before opening probing fire, trying to draw Serb response to identify their positions. The next morning, some of the Serb dead. There were no prisoners. Of equal importance in these operations is the intelligence the KLA forces on the ground can provide to NATO in its continuing airstrikes. Today, plotting Serb forward positions for their own artillery attack. Seven women were said to be part of this frontline unit. Outgunned and outmanned, the mortar fire will help pinpoint Serb targets for the NATO air attacks. But the KLA are also taking casualties. This unit preparing to bring out their wounded. A two-day march to pick up the injured, another four days to bring them out. Passing a blown-up Serb observation tower, so long a symbol of Belgrade's military dominance along this frontier. And for the local KLA force commander, one bit of welcome news. Over the radio, he's heard that his wife and family have escaped safely into Albania. I'll stay here in Kosovo, he said, until it's time to lead them home. Peter Sharp, Sky News.